Hello everyone. So welcome back. Today we will learn a very interesting general quadrature formula which is called Simpson's one-third rule or Simpson's one-third formula. So in, in our last lecture, we learned what is trapezoidal rule and how we derive that by putting n equals to 1 in general quadrature formula. So here in Simpson's one-third rule, uh, we have to put n equals to 2 and we have to neglect third and higher order. So in trapezoidal rule, what we did, we put n equals to 1 and you neglect second and higher order. Okay, so I'm talking about delta square, delta cube, all, all those differences. So here we have to put n equals to 2 in general quadrature formula and third order and higher order we have to neglect. So this is our general quadrature formula. Okay, so it's integration x naught to x naught plus n h f of x dx. Then h into n y naught plus n square by 2 delta y naught plus n cube by 3 minus n square by 2 whole into delta square y naught by 2 factorial plus n to the power 4 by 4 minus n cube plus n square whole into delta q y naught by 3 factorial up to n plus 1 times. Okay. So this is our general quadrature formula. Now here what to do? Putting in n equals to 2. Okay. So in uh, trapezoidal rule we put n equals to 1. Here we have to put n equals to 2 and neglecting neglecting third and higher order. Higher order in differences we get in differences. Now see, if we neglect third and higher order, so from this term onward, no, from delta q onwards, other terms will not come. Now we are putting n equals to 2. So it will be actual, uh, actual limit is x naught to x naught plus n h. So in place of n, if we put 2, it will be x naught to x naught plus twice h. f of x dx. So h into, so our right side will be 2y naught plus n square by 2. So n is our 2, 2 square by 2 means 4 by 2, that is 2 delta y naught, delta y naught, then n cube by 3. So if we put n equals to 2, it is 8 by 3, then minus 4 by 2 is our 4, then delta square y naught by 2 factorial. Okay, 2 factorial. Since we are neglecting other terms, so from uh, delta q onwards, those terms will not come. Okay, now let us simplify it a little bit. So h, then 2 y naught, 2 into delta y naught. So in place of delta y naught, we can write y1 minus y naught. And if we take LCM, it will be our 2 by 3, then delta square y naught. So delta square y naught is our how much? y2 minus 2y1 plus y naught divided by 2 factorial is 2. So these two cancel out. Now let us take uh, 1 by 3 common. So it will be h by 3. So in the first term, there is no 3, right? So it will become 6y0. In the second term also, there is no 1 by 3. So this is also become 6 into y1 minus y y0. And then since uh, from the last term, we have taken 1 by 3 common, it will be your y2 minus 2y1 plus y0. Okay. Now outside, you see we have now h by 3. We are getting 1 by 3, right? So that's why this particular formula is called one third rule because with h we have one one by three also. So h by three. Now if you calculate it, we see six y naught six y naught will be cancelled out. Here we'll get one six y naught, and if you multiply six with y naught, then six y naught six y naught will cancel. 
So we have only y naught plus then 6y1 minus 2y1 is uh, 4y1 plus y2. Now observe this three term very carefully. We are getting three term. First is not y naught. Then 4 into y1 means the odd one. 4 into odd one and then y2. So y2 is again uh, with y2 there is no constant. So how many terms we are getting? We are getting three terms. So first for what range we are doing? x naught to x naught plus twice h. Okay. x naught to x naught plus twice h. But uh, we have to go from x naught to how much? x naught plus nh. So since uh, we are finding the in, uh, integration for x naught to x naught plus twice h, so the next integration will be x naught plus twice h to x naught plus 4h. So there will be two increments because we are putting n equals to 2. The next one will be x naught plus 4h to x naught plus what? 6h. So in this way, what will be the last uh, integration? x naught plus n minus 2h to x naught plus n. Okay, 2 to get. In general rule, it was x naught, then x naught plus h. Again, from x naught plus h to x naught plus twice h, like this. So, but here it will be uh, x naught and then x naught plus twice h, then x naught plus twice h to x naught plus 4h, like this we have to find. So, similarly, similarly, so next one, no need to calculate. By seeing the above integration, we can easily write it x naught plus 4h f of x. So again, outside we will get h by 3. Now here, what will be the first term? Previously, we are uh, finished at y2 now. Now it will start from 2. So y2, then what I said, 4 into odd term means y3 and then y4. 2, 3, 4. First one is 0, 1, 2. Next one, next one will start from 2, 2, 3, 4. If we write one more, then it will be 4, 5, 6, like this. Okay, so let us write one more. x naught plus 4h2, x naught plus 6h, f of x dx. So it will be your h by 3. Now it is y4, 4 into y5, then y6. Okay. So if you keep on continue like this, so let us uh, write the last integral, which is x naught plus n minus two into h. Two x naught plus how much? N h f of x dx. So this is equals to how much it is? H by three. Then it will be your y n minus two. Then four into y n minus one. And then finally y. -n. Okay, by yn. Now what to do? To find uh, integration x naught to x naught plus nh f of x dx, we have to add all the integral. First one is x naught to x naught plus twice h f of x dx. Then we have x naught plus twice h to x naught plus 4h f of x dx. So in this way, let us write the last integral x naught plus n minus 2 into h2 x naught plus nh f of x dx. So I think you remember what is the first integral? It is h by 3, then y naught, 4 y1, y2. The next, next one is our h by 3, y2, 4 y3, then y4. Then h by 3, y4, 4, y5, then y6. So in this way, last one is our h by 3, yn minus 2, yn minus 1, then y. Okay. Now see, from all the term, we can take h by 3 common. And if you observe all the term very carefully, then you see h not or sorry y not occurred only once similarly y n also occur once so what we'll write first term plus last term you have to remember like this first term plus last term 
then you see in each term there is one odd term which is 4 4 y 1 then 4 y 3 then 4 y 5 so let us take 4 common so 4 into odd term y 1 y 3 y 5 then last one is y n minus 1 right so it's very simple to remember h by 3 then first term plus last term then 4 into all odd term now what about the other term so y2 occur twice one here and one here so write like this 2 into all even term y2 y4 y6 and then what y so this is the formula it's very simple to remember h by 3 first term plus last term 4 into odd terms and 2 into what even term okay. now let us take one problem so here uh, we have to integrate this particular integration integration 0 to 1 dx divided by how much dx divided by 1 plus x squared by using simpson's one third rule so in this problem x naught is our 0 then x naught plus nh is 1 f of x f of x is our 1 divided by 1 plus x squared now, in Simpson's one third rule, it is not like trapezoidal rule where we can take h by ourselves. So, here uh, we have to follow one thing number of sub interval, okay? Number of sub intervals is how much? n. And in Simpson's one third, it should be a multiple of 2, okay? n should be a multiple of 2. It will be be multiple of two. okay so you just remember uh, remember this particular thing whatever uh, sub interval we choose that should be a multiple of two in simpsons one third but in capital rule the argument should be equidistance so number we accordingly we have to choose there is no uh, restriction but here in simpsons one third number of sub interval should be multiple of 2. So see, very easy way you can do on, only 2. Then you can take 4, then 6. Okay. So here in this problem, we will we'll take n equals to 6. It, there is no hard and fast rule that we can take 4 also. So if we take n equal to 4, our calculation will be a little bit less. But if we increase the sub interval, then our answer will be more accurate. Okay. So let n equals to 6. So 6 is a multiple of 3. Then h, I think you remember the formula for h, h is b minus a divided by n. So b is what? b means this one. This is our b and this is our what? a. So in general quadrature formula, we see that the starting number is a and the ending number is b. So it's 1 minus 0 divided by n. n is our 6. So h is 1 by 6. Okay. So h equals to 1 by 6. So now let us uh, construct the table. So the function is 1 divided by 1 plus x square. So this is x. Next one is f of x. f of x means how much? 1 by 1 plus x square. So starting number is 0 because the lower limit is 0. So if we put 0 in this particular function, in this function, then it is uh, 1 divided by 1 plus 0. So how much it is 1? See, next term is how much? Next term is your first term is x0. Next is x0 plus h. So our x0 is 0 and h is 1 by 6. So it's 0 plus 1 by 6. That means 1 by 6. Okay, 1 by 6. So now in the function in place of x, we have to put 1 by 6. So it will be 1 divided by 1 plus 1 by 6 whole square. Okay. So we calculate it, just calculate it. So it will be your 9, 7, 2, 9, 7. Okay. Then next one will be our x naught plus twice h. So x naught is again how much? x naught is 0 twice h. Twice h means uh, 2 into 1 by 6. So it will be your 2 by 6 or you can write 1 by 3 also. So again, we have to put this 2 by 6 in the function, which is 1 divided by 1 plus x square. 
Now, in place of x, we will put 2 by 6. And if you calculate, we will get 0 0.900. Okay. Then, next one will be x0 plus phi h. So, x0 plus phi h. x0 is again how much? x0 is 0. So, it will be 3 into 1 by 6. Means, 3 by 6. Or you can write half. So, our value will be 0 0.800. Like this. The next one will be your 4 by 6. Okay, so first is 0, then 1 by 6, 2 by 6, 3 by 6, 4 by 6. So like this, it will go. Next, you will get uh, 0 0.69231. Okay, then 5 by 6. All these values you have to put in this particular function. Okay. So after putting uh, 5 by 6 in the function, you will get 0 0.59. 016 and then finally 6 by 6 6 by 6 is how much 1 you see our uh, limit is what 0 to 1 so starting number should be 0 and ending number should be 1 so we are getting 1 so it is 1 by 2 so 1 by 2 means what 0.5 okay now this is y not so better uh, you write this term no? because in the formula no, you have to put all these y not y1 y not y1 y2 y3 y4 y5 and then y6 okay y6 so how many sub interval we have 1 2 3 4 5 and then what 6 since we put n equals to 6 so we have 6 sub interval now by simpsons simpsons one third rule. So, what is the formula? Formula is very simple 0 to 1 f of x. Our f of x is 1 by x square dx. So, what is the formula? h by 3. Then, first term plus last term. Now, see in the table, first term is y0, last term is y6. Always you write this first term plus last term. Then, 4 into odd term. What are the odd terms? y1, y3. And the last what, what term is y5. Okay. Then 2 into even term. Even term is y2 and then what? Y4. Don't write y6 because we have already written y6 at the beginning. Okay. Now h is how much? Our h is 1 by 6. Then divided by 3. And all these values, see, you see, it's given in the question now. Oh, sorry, in the table. So you have to put all these values from the table. So it's y not. It's 1 plus y6 is our 0.5. Then 4 into y1. Our y1 is 0 0.97297 plus y3. y3 is 0 0.8. Then our y5. y5 is 59016. And then 2 into y2. y2 is our 0 0.9. And then y4. y4 is our 2, 3, 1. So just you have to calculate, okay? You can use calculator, just calculate, and finally you will get the answer. So our answer will be okay. So if you take four sub interval, so your answer will be a little bit different, but that will also be right. Or if you want to take more, then you can take eight sub interval. But six is standard because uh, in our next lecture we'll learn a Simpsons three by eight. Then you'll understand that if we take six. And there is a very little chance of uh, mistake. There will be no mistake if we take 6. Because in Simpsons 1, 3 by 8, we have to take n multiple of 3. So 6 is a very good number because it, it is a multiple of 2 as well as multiple of what? 3. So if we take 6, Simpsons 1 third and 3 by 8, both we can apply. Okay. So I think uh, Simpsons 1 third is clear to all of you. You just practice some more problems because the problems are very, very simple. Okay. Thank you for watching and kindly if you understand then share with your friends.